Lil Boosie first record called? Guess what? Not white. Zoom. Man. Zoom. Zoom. Doing a dance is two years old. Mm. Like like Young Jock didn't do it all last year. And they're like, okay, Pharrell, host of production credits, has a clothing like everybody visually knows him the moment they see him. And my and my Pharrell record's getting blocked by Lil Boosie. Because Lil Boosie has made a name for himself without the radio. Radio is your last stop. I don't know about all that. Last stop. Just make a record, make it cohesive, make it work. And you know, re realize there's so many different demographics. You know, there's, there's young kids who want to snap their fingers. There's a whole underground scene that really wants to hear rap. Like, you know, rap in its rawest form, if that means anything. And then, you know, there's an audience for it. Go out there and go find them and seek others that absorb that music. The mixtape game, I have to admit, is kind of slow now. Because everybody got a mixtape. And it's almost to the point now, mixtapes have gotten to the point where you only want it if it's from three different people. I don't, I, you could be DJ Circumcised. I cut them early. I play cuts early. <laughs> DJ, Cir DJ Circumcised. I play cuts early. You know that? It don't matter. <laughs> Compared to, you know, DJ Drama. That's what I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. Just, that's just what it is. That's what it is. Two weeks ago, two weeks ago, uh, this Olivia Fox came back to KYX, which is a phenomenal thing. Olivia is a powerhouse. We absolutely need her so we can push forward in the ratings. But it also came to the realization something isn't going right with me. I'm not gelling. And um, I'm, I, I know I can't compete with Olivia Fox in terms of name recognition. And she's beyond talented. But I, so I, it, it did gave me, it gave me a, I needed a moment of clarity. I had to figure out, well, I'm doing something wrong. I've been at the radio station 15 years and I've yet to feel that I've been getting an honest try. And maybe people, are, they figure out my personality's too nice to tell me something, or, well, you know, nah, 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 or something like that. But I've came to the conclusion where, Iron, I don't think you gelled. And some of it might deal with your weight. You know, I've, I mean, I've, I've battled being a big guy for a long time, but I've never really let it, well, at least on a conscious level, I don't think I've ever let it derail me. Do that, Kenna. Or, or on a conscious level, I don't think I let it derail me, but, Kenna, chill out. Chill out. Can you chill? But um, I don't think I let it derail me on a conscious level, but you never really know. So, I mean, being big might be slowing me down. So I, it's, it's also gonna be a, it's gonna chronicle me and my attempt to lose weight. I've been doing pretty good. I've lost like 36 pounds, but Lord knows, I got another 200 to lose. So I got a long way to go. What does weight have to do with the radio? Well, it has to do with the radio because this is how I'm gonna use it to sell myself. Right now, radio isn't even about being good at radio. It's about, getting people to, to feel who you are and buy into it. Steve Harvey doesn't do good radio, but he's known and he's funny. You know what I'm saying? You got, right now, radio isn't about craftsmanship. It's about bringing something else. And I'm gonna use this as my something else. I love P-Rock, I mean, look, brother. Like, I miss, I miss days of college with P-Rock 12 inches. I, I, remember the, I, got, I remember the day I got the white label of they reminisce over you on a white label that came to my house because I was doing college radio. That, sh that jacket showed up in my house, brother. I had class at 12. It came at like 10.30. I never went. I, was, I, I never went to class that day. I was blown away. I didn't think a rap record would sound that good. What's the last thing that did that to you? Last record to make move me like that? Well, I can't say move me to that degree. But records, when I heard, I was like, this is where this is where I like for rap to be. Uh, when, they, when, they, when they sent out the 50 cent, 12 inches, they had in the club, but it had back down on the back. We're about to go. I thought, I thought back down was ridiculous. I thought it, I thought I hadn't heard a marriage of the lyrics fit so perfectly with the beat since like Flavor in Your Ear. Like everyone sounds good on Flavor in Your Ear, but they don't sound better than Craig. You feel me? I feel you. Like every, everybody on Flavor in Your Ear gets Biggie off. did. Biggie did. He did not sound better. Craig Mack with all them ad them adlibs. I never heard adlibs that good in a rap record in my life. You know the adlibs. The adlibs are just <laughs> as important as the lyrics. I mean, how many? So R. Kelly's not an icon? No, he's not. Let me ask you something. How many rap songs have you heard? Or how many songs have you heard? Or hooks have you heard that you can say, damn, 
Hold on, hold on. Wrote you, that. You, you'll let, you'll, hold on. I could have wrote that. Hold on. I could have wrote that. But that doesn't mean everybody. I mean, brother, that. brother, everybody. Every, that's not good. But right I mean, right some of the stuff is, some of the stuff looks different. Some of the stuff seems like, man, you can write this stuff in like 10 minutes. Let me sit down. But the thing is, he did it and you didn't. Exactly. That's the hook. Anybody can hear that. That's the I could have did that. But until you do or try, you can't say that. Once you learn, like I said, he knows it, the music. It, 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 I, I no, no, he no, hasn't no. said anything to me that that that's blown me away. Like, and he doesn't, have, he doesn't have to. He doesn't have to. The question is, if he beats you to the punch, okay, he's the winner of it. Yeah, but that'll make him icon. Could, look, look, I could have, I could have thought of fucking Velcro, but I didn't. But I, I'm defending him from the other end because you got to because you know you you know what I'm talking about. Even though you don't like him, I don't. Like that's him. what I'm saying. And look, and, and, and if he can't, have to look, and if he can't let R. Kelly be an icon, you can't let Mary J. Blige be one. I won't let sure him. And you can't let Mary oh, J. Yeah. If you if he, if, if he can't let R. Kelly be an icon, you can't let Mary J. Blige be one. Paul McCartney got some trash records, but got some incredible ones too. How, how many incredible records does R. Kelly have? Really. really? Two or three? No. I believe might, I can fly. It might, it might be no. But see, I, that's, I, no, you, really, you, to be honest, see, see, you're, going, you're, going, you're, going, you're going for that egg. Like, I believe I can fly. Put this way. Also, your greatness, when, bl black music greatness, is not going to be defined by it making it over to white people liking it. I Believe I Can Fly is a great song, but it's, it's, it's bigger than life it's because be, white people got it. It's going to be like that. And, I'm not, and I don't even like R. Kelly like that. But I'd rather hear me, my, one of my favorite records he ever made was that fucking record with Sparkle. <laughs> oh, be, don't be careful. I, I man, when I heard that record, I lost my mind, and I and I didn't want to give it to him. Is that the I was one? Like, that has to be the all of that. Be the, he that got some nice the songs. record no, no, I've ever no. heard. He got some nice songs. The one, um, what, what's the one? Um, about the, I don't know if it's that's the one with Sparkle. That uh, when he talking about when the woman's um, when the woman's fed, fed up. up. When the woman's fed up. Sparkle was in the video. That's 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 it. I mean, I, that for me, that's that, that's that's one of his, you know one of his nice songs. I'll, I'll I'll give him I give him a lot more credit than you know a lot of these other artists. But I can't when I when to call him an icon, I can't say that. Why you don't call him icon? Because he he doesn't say anything. I I need. That, I mean, that, that doesn't stop me now. But also we gotta define. Give him an icon. Yeah. We gotta define icon. It, what, what is define yeah, icon. What is an icon to yeah. you? It's like just like you when when you got these females now. A lot of these females they sing a uh, they have a. Uh, uh, so I, uh, album out and it sells like like crazy. All of a sudden now they're a diva. Brandy called herself a diva. She ain't really sang a grown up song yet to me to be called a diva. You 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 you're talking about you talking about uh, to me a diva is somebody that can't get no better. They can only make more more music and I I think I got that from. I think I got that from you when you said that. Man, I think look, you said that. Last diva. Was so best. What is an icon? So best was the last diva. The rest said, of y'all carbon said, What is an icon? What is an icon? I can't define it. All, uh, the, the best way it's I can say like you just the, be the, be the, the best thing I can say about an icon, an icon. Bobby Gay. We, we we know that, but we as to define icon in my mind, and I, I could be incorrect. I want to say an icon means when their name comes up, people know there's a great body of work behind that name, an undeniable great body of work. What uh? Can I ask you this? Well, what body of work can can uh, any any song R. Kelly the, did or any album compare with something Michael Jackson did? Michael Jackson is out. No, no, there's no artist in the world to compare against him. That's like that's like that's like Puffy talking about I got money. He's like, well, bring in Bill Gates. The conversation's over. But Puffy got fucking money.